everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding Wise of Greenberg. They're going for 27 on a random run. I'm closing my eyes. Uh, that's gonna get around to like Samson? Oh. Oh, I, in my head it kept going and it ran. It ended up on the lost. Here's our Samson seed for today. YKXSJ7GS. Nothing wrong with this. As Samson, there are a lot of things to consider. Let's consider that an IV bag would be an exceptionally important pickup, especially considering we have no spacebar item as is. Let's consider that we start with a decent amount of HP and are gonna love giving some of that away for some base damage or any kind of utility, basically, to a deal with the devil. Let's also consider that, holy shit, I'm so glad that I get to go through another cycle being guaranteed not to random the lost. One of these days, that dream is gonna end. It's just mathematics. And I wasn't ready for it. You know, if it comes at the end of a, or the middle of a day where I've been playing pretty well, and I get the loss, then I can buckle down and say, you know what, we're gonna try this. We're gonna do our damnedest to make this work and not die to a Mullaboom on the second room. Because apparently the only time they spawn Mullabooms is when you play as the loss, not when you're trying to unlock it. Anyway, I digress. That train is long sailed. Man, I wonder if Afterbirth will add more lost achievements. That sounds scary as hell. But also, I've got to admit that I sort of welcome the challenge. Also, uh, oh, what I was going to say is this is the first uh, episode recorded in the morning. Coffee has hit my bloodstream, and I'm very thankful for that. But still, you know, you don't want to start with a, a run where you're like, oh, if I get hit once, I'm dead forever. Or maybe you do, you know, I don't understand sports psychology. Okay, please. Not that this is sports either. Hey, you message me on Skype? I sent you a Skype message that said I'm starting recording. Your response was to, re to message me and make me a very ornery individual. That's not the same as horny. People sometimes assume that it is. This is very incorrect. They're different things. I actually want to get hurt here uh, a couple of times. There we go. That gives us a small damage bonus that we can actually use against our boss. It's, it's unlikely to be that meaningful, but, you know, if we can do it, why not? And actually... A damage bonus against Dingle is pretty cool in my eyes, because Dingle is not necessarily a super difficult boss, but I think as as things have settled, I've realized that, you know, Dingle is actually probably one of like the top third most difficult bosses in the first floor of the game. Obviously you've got Fistula, obviously you've got the Haunt, um, you probably have to throw Blighted Ovum in there maybe? If you have low speed and the arena's kind of shitty, it's kind of hard to get out of the way. Uh, not out of the way of Blighted Ovum, but out of the way of the Blighted Ovum, like, little friend who shoots the Brimstone shot at you. HP upgrade. I think we might as well take it right now. There's nothing wrong with it. You know what? Hurt me again. I want a little bit more of a damage bonus so we can go a little faster uh, through the back half of this floor as we see what's in our item room. I'm th oh, yes, that's so good. I was just going to say I'm actually going to shoot all this poop because it's really meaningful if we can actually get to uh, five cents. That's very important. Not only for the chance to get an arcade on the next floor, but maybe we'd rather just buy a Spirit Heart on this floor. But actually, we might be able to get even over that. If we can get to 10 cents, that's a Spirit Heart on this floor, if, if there is one for sale. And an arcade on the next floor, at least a chance for an arcade on the next floor. Very, very good. One bomb will put us in that position. We'll just get to the secret room. Uh, well, there is a Tinted Rock there, though. That could cut out the middleman if you would just give me a bomb immediately. Then we'd already have the money to get an arcade on the next floor. That's eight cents. Uh, Abel is really, really bad. Reeks of wasted potential. However, we have it, and I guess I'll uh, I'll make the best of it. What do you think? See if we get two cents here. If not, I can walk on this and maybe like oh, I'll still walk on it once. All right. Now we're at thirteen cents. At thirteen cents, I can buy. Well, if I spend 10, I'll only have 3 left. So we'd probably just want to buy... Oh, you know what? We can spend... This is perfect. This is perfect. We'll buy the bomb. And we'll buy the uh, spirit heart. So we got the spirit heart directly. And then additionally, I'm going to come back here and use our bomb on the tinted rock. If I can get a small rock, two spirit hearts, or even a golden chest. I guess what I'm getting at is that pretty much everything is, is okay for us here. We've also got two pots associated with it. Uh, we got two bombs and a key out of it, and a penny. I mean, it was well worth the bomb. Let's check for the secret room. Like, if it's super good, we could get Nun's Habit on this floor. Uh, it's, it's super good. 
But we're one cent shy of being able to get the nun's habit, so we'll have to blow up our donation machine. But it's still, uh, well, let's check this. It's still well worth it, I think. Even though we don't have a spacebar item right now, this seems like a, a really good call. I'm sorry, donation machine, but I have been pretty good to you lately, so... I'm not gonna feel too bad about it. We can buy this, and we still have nine cents for the next floor. Okay, now, I would like a defensive spacebar item. We get an arcade on the next floor. That's my dream, anyway. Get an arcade on the next floor, then we can use the blood bank to not only give us a good damage bonus, but also pump up a book of revelations or something like that. Or just give me an IV bag directly. Either one of those is fine, but I, honestly, I'm very pleased with that first floor. Um, it, it didn't start out... Well, it didn't start out bad, but it, it started out very neutral, and it, it ended in a very positive way. Another tinted rock here. It's gonna take a long time, unless we can get Abel over here to... Oh, we can push him out! Okay, hit him again, Abel. Thank you. I do want to take damage as soon as possible on this floor, because, uh, you know, we get a, a nice little damage bonus, but I can't afford to lose the Spirit Heart. But I also can't afford to have shit damage in case we're fighting, like, the Haunt. It might be better to have no Spirit Heart coverage, but good damage, than to have... Well, that doesn't make any sense, because, you know... If you work through, we'd be getting the damage bonus as we took Spirit Heart damage as well. I'm gonna try this. And that was, like, literally breaking even. That's a that's a disappointment, because it didn't... It's not breaking even, it cost us time. And also some hope, I guess. Uh, Child's Heart? Over-petrified poop? I don't think so. Uh, if we... If we get uh, the opportunity to go to a an arcade, we might have preferred Child's Heart. But for now, I'd rather take the guaranteed money and just hedge our bets a little bit. Not bank entirely on a blood bank showing up. We do have a double key room. I am going to guess that this is our secret room right here. This would be good. The double key room I'll go to at, once we get more keys, basically. Let's see what our curse room holds for us. It holds two spirit hearts and a troll bomb. That's a, a really good haul. Basically traded two bombs for two spirit hearts. And some peace of mind, I guess. So there is our item room. That's where our first key is gonna go. I don't think we have a, a huge need to go to our shop. If we can go to our shop, I would like to. If we can't go to our shop, uh, I think that's fine too. You know, we bought a lot from our shop on the last floor. I won't feel like we're getting ripped off. One more, I think. Somewhere around here. It's a champion, so we'll be a little careful. And a pill, which we have not had yet, so it's pretty interesting. Let's see what we've got in here first. Rotten Baby, it's a great pickup. Telepills. Uh, okay, well, I'm glad we found out our secret room was there, so we didn't lose out on the, anything in the process there. Uh, this is good. Rotten Baby as a pickup is fantastic. It also narrows the deal with the Devil Pool a little bit, which is valuable. We do have another Tinted Rock up here. Gotten very lucky with those so far, even if they haven't all paid out super fantastically with Spirit Hearts and whatnot. We've gotten some benefits as a result. Mmm, that means we are going to go to our shop now. And we're fighting Pin, and somehow we've done damage to Pin before he even existed, which is always nice. Always nice, like the 1% of the time that it happens, but still. Alright, this potentially allows us to, to feel pretty good about taking that final turn on this streak loop right here. This deal with the devil, and we've worked for a lot of runs lately. Some of them, oh, that's so good. On some of them we've gotten carried, but we've worked for a lot of them as well. So, you know, an early guppy pickup or just, you know, four pills is good too. Puberty, telepills, hematomesis, lock up. Uh, it's, it's not bad, but it sucks that we don't have deal with the devil precedent, but... You know, I'm the saddest guy in the world who just picked up an all stats upgrade, I guess. This is still amazing. Let's continue onwards. There is still a chance. Uh... And yeah, that's the double key room. There is still a chance to get uh, an arcade, which would be awesome. The money would be very valuable. We will take Mom's key for sure. More keys. We'll take this bomb. And my hope is actually that this one maybe is like a golden chest that pays out with four bombs or something. Okay, it almost worked out, because there is a Tinted Rock back down here as well now. One of the weirdest series of payouts I've had from Tinted Rocks. I don't know if we've gotten a single Spirit Heart out of them thus far, which is very strange, but I'm still happy about it regardless, because we picked up a lot, of, uh, a lot of bombs now. So I will check out our Double Key Room. And... Mostly I check these out as a curiosity, and that's pretty much how this one's gonna look. Uh, Good for our finances, really good for our finances. Not so good for really anything else, but that's it's fine. We got seven bombs now. 
Uh, could use some keys. And there is no... Oh, let's look at this. I think we can get in there. And we'll get one bomb back. Maybe for three bombs. No, for two. We got... That was well worth it, yeah. Um, similarly, why don't we try this? Oh, there's a tinted rock over here, too. I didn't even see it. So we traded one bomb for a, a, a bomb and a chance to get some pots. And then we got another key back this way. So we can now, I think, take telepills. And that gave us an eternal heart, which is incredibly lucky. Also, we're back to our starting room. Is there anything we want in here? Like, I would buy a key. I don't think we need remote detonator. I don't think we need the pill. Um, I don't think there was anything really for us to gain on that double key room now. This is lucky. It's, it's weirdly... It's lucky on lucky, you know. We didn't get a deal with the Devil Precedent here, but we got a lot of other good stuff that we can rely on in the future. We're going to be way too slow for Boss Rush. Uh, we're already very nearly at the time limit we'd want to have for this floor. But the Tinted Rocks have been showing up by crazy. Let's not forget, we got a Luck Upgrade and Magic Mush. What's up with these Tinted Rocks, man? We're very lucky we've gotten Spirit Hearts from other sources because these Tinted Rocks have not worked out for us. I mean, they've worked out on a consumable level, but not on the traditional Spirit Heart level. This is what we want right here. Satanic Bible, uh, plus Nun's Habit, plus an Arcade, puts us in an amazing position. Lucky Rock. I mean, Lucky Rock is not bad. This is so good, though. Yeah, we should, uh, we should shoot these fires. Like, all the way down. <laughs> Lucky Rock is, uh, is good when we have a lot of bombs and we're gonna be blowing stuff up anyway. Thank you for not paying out yet. I dislike that, but actually, you know what? Just more space for a uh, more space for uh, black hearts in the future via Satanic Bible. And we picked up a base damage upgrade, which is awesome. We are fast, man. And our flies are one-shotting the big turrets here, which is crazy. So in actuality, what we probably should do is take small rock. That's probably our secret room. Take small rock while we're blowing things up, but I don't know. It, it, it's too much trinket management for my personal tastes. Puberty, hematemesis. Hematemesis is a really good pill if we find a blood bank. I'm still happy with petrified poop over this. Um, maybe we do go back for lucky rock, just because there's not going to be very much poop over here, so we might as well take advantage of it. And You know, if we can get some money back, the money basically pays for the bombs one way or the other. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Let's come back this way, and we don't expect much poop to show up for a little while, so this is probably a better pickup. I'm used to, like, petrified poop is free. You just shoot poop, you don't need to use bombs to get it, so that makes it seem better, but is it actually better? I don't know. I also don't really know why I'm blowing these up when I already have magic mushroom, but I suppose we can get some value out of them. We already have... Uh, okay, we'll take Starter Deck, which will turn Hematomesis into something else. The World, which I'll just use. And then another World card. We can make use of Sharp Plug. And we have the money, so it's almost like, why not, right? Even with Nun's Habit, we can still make use of Sharp Plug. Uh, sharp Plug, like, Wafer Satanic Bible might be great for us. I don't really know how to make it work so super effectively. I will pop the Empress card here, but I'm expecting... That dark one is going to die pretty quickly as a result of our damage bonus on this floor. We get meat. Uh, honestly, I'm happy with this. You know, if we ever get a deal with the devil, we have a lot of HP for it. If we ever find a blood bank, we got a lot of fuel for that. And we should have enough money to, to potentially spawn a deal with the devil on the next floor. Sacrificial dagger is really good. In a way, you know what? Thank you, game, for insulating me from myself. Because of the lack of early game deals with the devil, I have basically no doubt that we're going to survive here for a long time, probably. Like, I, I, I can't really see us dying anytime soon. Do we have anything useful? In, we might as well try it, right? Uh... Or, like, maybe even at all on this run? It's a little early to say that, and in a way, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a... I'm getting a little ahead of myself because of the damage bonus that we've gotten from Bloody Lust here, but it's working out really nicely. Two of Hearts is also really good if we get a uh, a deal with the... or uh, a Blood Bank. Potentially, if we get a deal with the Devil, I guess, depending on what it is, but... Now, all Mushrooms will pay out with Tarot cards. That's not great damage. Not counterfeit penny. Fantastic. That's like 12 cents from a poop, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, strength card. I think two of hearts maybe beats it if we're exclusively thinking of uh, uh, blood bank kind of deals. 
Let's see if we... I don't even... Actually, now that I think about it, I don't even really want to blow up a mushroom to try to get a tarot card because I already love the tarot cards we've gotten. And was that decision worth it? Spent a key, made a little bit of money and a few bombs, but also got our HP back immediately in sort of a roundabout way. I'm not going to act like we we broke even on that necessarily, but I think it was fine. And we checked this out and it worked out well as well. Uh, if I were a second secret room, I would be... I would be somewhere that is not close to this. So let's just get a move on here. We got two of hearts world card. Allow me to take a sip of this coffee. Oh, no. F far too hot. I felt the vapors. Okay, we have Curse of the Unknown. We have at least five and a half red hearts, I think. So one, that five and a half. Let's say six. <clears throat> six gives us 12 plays. This will be two. Well, that's okay. Three, four, five, uh, four still, because we didn't take damage. Five, six, and a payout. So now that we've used six, why don't we use two of hearts? And that should take us back to roughly 12. Okay. So that's one, two. Thank you, Gimpy. Uh, well, we can we can use the lover's card as like a barometer here. But we definitely got at least four plays. One, two, three, four. Why would I do this? Um, I want to make sure that we get an IV bag if we can. We're probably good enough, like, defensively, with all we've got so far, that we can afford to, uh, to get rid of Satanic Bible for IV bag, I think. And I don't even want to blow this guy up, because our deal with the Devil Chance should be good, or Angel for that matter, should be good. I think it's better for us. This is a super fucking arcade for us right now. I think it's better for us to just uh, go for broke this way. So we can get two plays for the price of one here. I don't think we're even close to hitting the HP cap. Or like, not the HP cap, the opposite. I don't think we're close to like running out. But we might as well play it super safe. Obviously we're at the, the damage cap from Bloody Lust here. We can afford to do one more. Just so we can get the Satanic Bible payout, just in case. Alright, let's, let's leave for now. But this represents a, a really good opportunity for our future. What would my ideal shop be at this point? Black Candle. Just so I can have a little bit more confidence as we go back there. So we know that we've got at least one Blood Bank play. And you might think that I'm playing this super conservatively. I am. I'd really hate to lose a streak trying to get IV bag on what is already a one run. Just being like, look at how hard I am. I know exactly how much HP we have except, oh wait, I'm dead. My last streak ended due to Curse of the Unknown. So I don't want to really push it here. We're at the HP cap. So we can, I would say, we can go down there and play at least another four times. Especially considering we just got a, a spear at our back as a result of this. So if the first two didn't kill us, then this one definitely won't kill us because we just got Satanic Bible back. Let's do another one. One of you is going to pay out eventually. It's, it's just the science of it. Pop the world card. Oh, don't do this to me. There's a dice room! And we still can't pick that up, so we know that we're not even close to, to death here. We haven't even started taking our uh, red hearts yet. We will use a bomb instead of a key. Give me a five room. A five room would be majestic here. A piece of paper is your guide. No kidding. Here a font we still can't do anything with, I'm assuming, but might as well use it. Shears! Shears is pretty good. Is it better than Satanic Bible? It's it's debatable. <clears throat> a four room rerolls pedestals. I'm gonna reroll the shears basically because we can. Cut and run, cut and run. Ever since I was 17, cut and run. Let's get out of here. Odd mushroom. For a damage upgrade, a little bit of extra HP. Still can't pick these up. Yeah, let's just move along for now. I'm, one of these days, we're going to get IV bag. And I will give up Satanic Bible for IV bag because I don't want to... I mean, we're at the HP cap, but I might as well convert Spirit Hearts into Black Hearts if we can. Uh, I, uh, I really don't want to lose out on our damage. Like, that's so good right now. Being able to one-shot or two-shot these guys is really meaningful. So, we actually have another way to gauge how our HP looks, and that is the Boss Trap Room. 
That will tell us not if we're at the HP cap. They'll give us more meaningful detail. Might as well buy this. Might as well buy this. Might as well buy this. Uh, we can't. Okay, so we're still at the HP cap. This will tell us like what our red hearts are actually at. So I'm assuming that on this floor, we will get a deal with the devil. Even though I didn't blow up the judgment. Should be super likely. It's an angel room. We'll take the speed plus range upgrade. We don't have a choice in the matter. Uh, and guardian angel's pretty good, so we'll do this. And you know what? I'll take the key piece. I don't. I don't see a good reason not to take the key piece uh, when our damage is already so good. Plus, we can't reroll it. I guess we could have. Now we probably wouldn't have even gotten back in. So credit card. I don't anticipate being super meaningful for us. Uh, let's, we've already been to our shop, it does not have black candles. So this is gonna be a little annoying, unfortunately. Let's go fight our mini boss, see what's going on in there. It's lust, uh... Well, we got a card. Two of hearts, okay, well... Rosary bead, I don't think is necessary at this point, probably. Let's finish this room just so we have an easy indicator of, like, where we're at. I could pick up that red heart. That's kind of what I want to see, is, like, red hearts that we can't pick up. That'll tell me where we're at. It's not going to happen anytime soon, though. Just pay out with the IV bag. It makes life so much easier. I'm going to get it anyway. So that's the HP we just picked up. We just got Blood Bag. So Blood Bag is going to take us back to, like, full HP. So we can pretty much... I'm going to go, like, eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know if that helped. Eight. And then we'll pop two of hearts. And just to be safe, I mean, after popping two of hearts, obviously we will be able to, we won't be able to go in there. Um, <clears throat> let's do it a little more. One, two, three. I just want to be on the safe side here. I really doubt we're getting close to the HP cap or the HP floor. We still can't open that. Okay. One, two. We got that back again, so we can go one, two again. One, two. That took a that took a black heart. Okay, that's extremely dangerous. Let's come back up here and get our spirit heart. We picked up one of them there. How many of these do we have now? We picked up a couple HP upgrades. I'm not actually sure. So we can get in here now, and we picked up a lot of extra HP. I I refuse to believe that we can't get IV bag on this floor. It's kind of blowing my mind. But it's looking increasingly likely that it won't happen. And I hope I didn't fuck over my HP completely. We gotta have like seven or eight containers. We might even have like ten. That was not smart. I appreciate the red hearts though. Uh, let's do some more exploration because as of right now I'm a little frightened. We got uh, a few more rooms left over including a second secret room down there. Blue map is what allows us to see that second secret room of course. Oh this is really good. I don't even think I'd, I'd use a bomb to get 12 cents at this point. We're gonna get that anyway. Via the blood bag or, you know, some other ability. We'll take that bomb on our way out, of course. Two-shotting those champions feels good. It means probably one-shotting those guys, and that's indeed exactly how that worked out. So if we're gonna have almost exclusively deals with the angel, just give me, like, a holy mantle. Make it easy, man. It's already, it should be an easy run. I'm just being a little overly cocky, I guess. Red hearts, red hearts. Okay, well, um, I don't even think I want to pick that up. I'm so close to the HP cap, and I have, if not added, and I have um, Satanic Bible. So it's nice to have some black cards to ensure a better chance of getting a deal with the angel. Let's just go back and make sure we're not uh, below the HP cap. Good, 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 good. We picked up at least four, maybe five red hearts, so we got another several plays here. We can get both. Okay, so that was like two, three, four, five. Oh, there we go. <laughs> just in time. Uh, I, I guess we just go at this point. Still can't take these. Still can't take these. Still can't take these. Okay. So now on the next floor, we'd, we'd like to replenish our HP a little bit if possible. But it's good. It's this. It, it's almost unlosable if we could just get like Bloody Penny. Can't take that. Just making sure 
Being safe. All right. No Curse of the Unknown on this floor. Two Curse of the Unknown is like four times harder than one Curse of the Unknown. It gets exponentially more difficult. We have a decent amount of red hearts. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's only six to take you to the, the damage uh, cap bonus via Bloody Lust. But why not uh, throw a little extra on if we can? Lover's cards. All of a sudden, exceptionally valuable for me. Magician. Uh, we should at this point realize that our credit card is probably going to be useless outside of a shop. We have 99 cents, so my streak of like never using credit card effectively continues, or looks like it's going to continue. I think we've gotten the damage bonus cap on this floor, so let's just save the rest of our red hearts if we can. Tiny planet, huh? Let's do it. The game's been very kind to us. Let's show it that we appreciate it. I would like to get the ability to fly if we're going to start splitting hairs. Give me Tiny Planet and the ability to fly. That's a good package deal. But our damage is so good that I feel like we're totally fine with this, especially with some kind of cool synergy, like a Godhead, for example. Just throwing it out there. Still hard to hit things, though. There we go. There we go. Just wait for the creep to dissipate or don't at your own risk. There's our boss fight, and uh, I don't know what our deal with the angel chances are. I assume they adhere to the same kind of rules as our deal with the devil chances. We're going to find out, though. Please, no. A little dangerous. Okay. Magician card could be good for us, I guess, as well. There is a tinted rock here. I probably should have waited to see if he blew it up. But oh well, we got small rock for free. And another orbital combined with guardian angel is fine by me. Let's explore the rest of the floor because we've already missed Boss Rush, and it would be good if we could uh, get all of our Red Hearts back. Another Tinted Rock here, so this makes this decision pretty easy. I don't know why I keep picking up the money, and I'm excited about it too. I'm like, oh shit, we got a lot of money out of that. I, well, we have so much money, I think we might as well go left hand for the very, very small chance of becoming Guppy. Alrighty then, we'll leave. Sorry I asked. Piercing shots would also be great for us if we can get them. Um, oh, well, you know, that's what a golden key is there for, I guess. I don't think this tiny planet pickup is necessarily bad. What would make it feel really good is if we somehow came across Death's Touch, though. It could happen. Don't be a naysayer, necessarily. And if it did, and somehow we got Lump of Coal. Yo, if you're not going to let me go into the secret room, just don't even illuminate it on my map. Just put a big red X with a middle finger through it. Key beggar. We will explode him. Worth it. Probably worth it. Um, we'll we'll still... <sighs> It's a situation where, like, the credit card, we have 99 cents and are almost certainly guaranteed to not get deals with the, with the devil because of our deal with the angel precedent. So, what's more worthless, the magician card or credit card? Probably the credit card, honestly. However, I have, you know, sentimental ties to the credit card that I can't get rid of it right now because people will be furious. Yeru rune pickup is real nice. Oh, that's good, too. All right. Yeah, you get out of here. I didn't even mean to do that, but I'll, I'll do it anyway. Ceremonial robes for a little bit of extra damage, and also uh, we picked up one black heart in the process, which could be meaningful. All right, let's, let's look at it. I gotta go for it, because if we get, like, a Tammy's head or something like that, this will just look ridiculous. I don't know. Is this worse than the uh, Tiny Planet? It's certainly more unpredictable. It looks funny. Uh, let's let's head down to the next floor, shall we? And there we go. Now the coffee should be drinkable. Lovely. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice also we got the uh, Gimpy Pay out there. I hope if we uh, get a way to increase our luck stat, the Gimpy Payout will continue to. Uh, work out like that for us. If it paid out more, we could use that pretty effectively. I already picked it up. That was not very smart. Oh well. We're not getting very many Gimby payouts as is right now, but it's okay. Uh, this this is really bad. It's worse. 
much worse than t just Tiny Planet by itself, which I wasn't actually sure was possible. But, it appears to be. I will probably drop it. I didn't even mean to pick that up. I'll probably drop it at my earliest uh, availability. For now, it's kind of silly though. And I like the silliness of it, but I'll admit that this is a little silly even for me. So we're almost back to full HP. That's great news. Probably a shop, maybe a library. It is a shop. Definitely will buy the map. Uh, why not buy the tarot card? It's the stars. Why not buy this? Why not buy this? Why not buy this and then use it once? It's the Joker. That's way better. We'll go Joker Yera. And why not even use it once more and we got a Chaos card. Say whatever you want, but Yera, Yera Joker is still the right call here. And we'll donate the rest of our money. All two cents of it. So the Joker card should give us a deal with probably the Angel that we otherwise may not have gotten. And uh, yeah, I think it's... I think people are going to be displeased that I'm leaving the Chaos card behind, but also probably most people will realize that there was really no other sensible option. Use the Chaos card to kill, like, these enemies. I mean, that's the only other thing I can really think of. Double key room. Four. It's actually pretty good. I'm going to use it right away. Because this will allow us to reroll uh, the deck of cards that we picked up on the shop. It's going to be a very, very long run for such a, oh, an easily one run. We got Coin Purse, which is going to be cards. Or runes. Onsus. High Priestess, Hanged Man, Joker. Y you know, Joker Yera is still exactly what we want to roll with here. Never thought it would happen, but I want to be able to hold like four cards at the same time now. Just let me hold every card that- you should be- it's called a starter deck. You should be able to hold 52 cards. I know it's a magic reference, not like a standard playing card reference, but you get the idea. Basically, I'm being an idiot deliberately. Joke's on you, I was only pretending. Alright, uh... Do you hear that? Oh, it's vacuuming in the hallway. I thought it was like a fucking... OG, like, Windsor Spitfire or something like that swooping into bomb Vancouver. That would be international news, probably. Who's gonna bomb Canada at, you know, at this point in our international lifespan? The British? I doubt it. playing the long con when it comes to confederation. Alright. If that's our new vacuum cleaner and it sounds like an OG World War II era Windsor Spitfire, I am very pleased with that purchase. That appeals to my base nature. Um, I'm not gonna go to the second secret room. We don't really want more eternal hearts. We don't really want, we can't do anything with more black hearts. We can't do anything with more red hearts right now. We could get back to 99 cents, but we're going to get there anyway, whether on purpose or accidentally. I also really hope I don't have to use the Joker card. I'm going to call it the Joker. I pos I'm positive that I will because we have this Yara root. I hope I can use the uh, Joker card on the Cathedral. And I hope that I get two Angel and, uh, well, two Angel or Devil rooms coming up like right now. We did get a Devil room here, which is a kind of a big surprise to me. And of course, right after I got rid of credit card, but of course, as with most devil deals recently, this one doesn't contain any items anyway. The stars and the moon? No, that's alright, dog. That's exceptionally poor luck. Man, our deals with the devil thus far have been real bad. Don't fuck me out of this deal with the angel shenanigan. I took the key piece, man. I was in this for the long haul. Yo, we're doing like a decent amount of damage, even without the whole IV bag thing. Six. I don't know if that was actually... that's That that felt like 8 plays to me. Um, yeah, our damage looks good enough. Um, we got some we got some sympathy gimpy payouts there, which I like a lot. Hopefully we'll be able to get our red hearts back soon. To a hearts card means a lot to us, but we are able to get to a half heart interval as a result of uh, the, the IV bag interaction, which is really, really nice. <clears throat> Can we just get into that room? No, it's still bar uh, barricaded. Um, that that allows us to get some invincibility, which I hope is never necessary on this run for our survival. 
But in the rare event that it actually is, it's it's fantastic. I'm very glad. Thought maybe we'd get some red hearts out of that. Uh, we shouldn't pick that up yet, but we should be aware that there is a half heart because that means we can get a full heart if there's just a... Uh, what do you think? Straight ahead here, probably? Or through the big room? I think usually Isaac defaults for through the big room. Yeah. That's the ultimate way to hedge your bets. Go one way and say it's probably the other way. Wish my uh, financial advisor hadn't taken that advice back in 2008. <laughs> Seriously, though, in, in 2008, I was like 19 years old. So uh, I, uh, I didn't lose any money in the financial crisis. But if you did, I feel for you, man. That sucks. All right. Man or lady, doesn't matter. We're all capable of losing money at an equal pace. Thanks a lot, capitalism. Uh, we got, uh, we got like two or even three full hearts there. We sh Oh, I didn't even pick those up. And then we'll try to get this one. Please break the poop. I don't know how to shoot at it. I just shoot and then eventually it goes away. Let's see. I'm not a huge fan of fighting Conquest right now. I love that, like, it looks like, to me, I'm like, oh, my shots are crazy, man. They're probably irritating the shit out of him. But I think what's actually happening is just Rotten Baby occasionally spits out uh, something, and it makes me feel better. You know, like, it, it kills the enemy. We might as well take this so we can get maximum, I guess, red hearts so we can do something with IV bag. Makes Gimpy completely worthless. There's our key piece. Kind of hoping for some more red hearts, but that's okay. Now we need to be a little bit more concerned about our HP. Like, yeah, yeah, we do. There's just no way around it. There's more hearts here? Oh, there's, we can't really get it. Figure we'll come to this room, and maybe our second secret room will contain um, some more red hearts. Just in case. It'd be nice to get back to nearly full. Bible tracked. I mean, I, I do need to get rid of uh, Ringworm at some point. It's not really doing too much for me. But Bible Tract is mathematically bad for us. Uh, White Pony is actually kind of interesting, but I'd lose out on the damage bonus, which would hurt me deep down in my soul. All right, Curse of Darkness. One, two, three, four. I'm only going to take four right now. I'm assuming I'm going to take damage at some point here anyway. Our boss fight. I'm going to go left, but this is kind of a weird one. It, it could be in a variety of different positions. Um, I, I think we have to play it a little bit more conservative with IV bag right now because it, it takes twice as much HP. Isaac's head is better than Ringworm for us at this point. However, I can't deny that Ringworm gives us some weird-ass bragging rights that I'm, like, super pleased with. So, I, I kind of don't want to get rid of it unless we get something like the Cancer Trinket or Pinky Eye or, you know, something along those lines. Two of hearts. Oh, life's good. Alright, so unfortunately we did lose our half-heart interval, but it was well worth it. And hopefully... Oh, this is obviously not the way to go. Hopefully we'll be able to get to our, uh... Cathedral and still get the damage bonus out of it. We do have a, a, a Joker card We're gonna be fighting Mega Satan and that's the kind of thing. I haven't really touched on it on this Discussion yet, but yeah, this is it's planned to be a Mega Satan run We have the key piece for a reason It should be easy as well Wheel of fortune wheel of fortune not that interested in Wheel of Fortune, his I tell your brother. Doesn't really work. Um, take the Joker card here. I was basically hoping for some red hearts. It didn't pay out with that, but at least I didn't waste a bomb looking for it either. That shit is going to be stuck in my head all day, and I'm so sorry if it, you know, afflicts you too. Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune. Not too much out there rhymes with Wheel of Fortune. Excuse me. Nothing, uh, no, no drops that I could hear there. Obviously, sound, the most important scent, if you're going to be a legitimate Binding of Isaac. The most important scent? I meant to say sense. Sound is the most important scent, I find. 
That's like an ad for a, a very ill-conceived hearing, like auditory perfume. What's the most important scent? Sound. And if you don't think about it, you're like, oh shit, maybe that's true. Science. Pin? I'm so sorry, Pin. And Larry Jr. I didn't realize that you were involved in this too. You got in with the wrong crowd, man. Alright, this is... I can't believe that this is... Hey, we got a 27 streak. What should we do? I don't know. Maybe uh, gamble all of our HP away at the start of every single floor. Take Tiny Planet and uh, Ringworm deliberately. And then just go fight Mega Satan. Why not, right? Apparently that's... Uh, we're just tempting fate completely here. I was going to say, wouldn't it be hilarious if it's Krampus? There's no point in even doing this, and I feel bad saying that, but the Rosary does nothing except make the Bible more likely to show up. Not good. One, two, three, four. We'll start out like that. Um, and blowing up the Angel Statue won't give us anything now. I mean that, like, literally. Blowing up the Angel Statue just gives us... Like, we fight the Angel, but then we get nothing out of it. Maybe the Angel can drop consumables when it dies, but is that really worth it? I would argue probably no. Got another key for that. Unlikely to be uh, that beneficial, but that's okay. It would only cost us a bomb. We're not going to be using those against Mega Satan. Weirdly enough, this is a super easy run in spite of all the interference I'm running to make it borderline impossible. I don't know why I picked up no consumables there. I mean, let's keep in mind we got a lot of good stuff going on. We got really high damage. We also have uh, really good defense. Three orbitals. Four orbitals, one of which is Guardian Angel, one of which is Sacrificial Dagger. Let's save our HP. We can use it on the next floor. I think we should be able to easily beat uh, Mega Satan. Or, no, sorry, I think we should easily be able to beat Isaac, and then we can save some of this HP for Mega Satan. And I think, in a way, once we get down to the next floor, it almost makes sense to just not, uh, not use IV Bag. Because if we're going to take damage... We might as well take damage on the last fight remaining. And then get the damage bonus there, rather than giving him a head start towards killing us, you know? Mega Satan, Mega Satan. Let's do this. I'm ready. I, again, if anyone out there has some dope-ass uh, Tiny Planet hookworm strats, feel free to let me know. I'm uh, very interested in them. This run is really, and I don't want to brag, but it's a testament. It's not even bragging about me, it's bragging about an item combination I like. It's a testament to how good Bloody Lust IV Bag is. Because our deals with the Devil and our deals with the Angel were pretty shitty. But, in the end, you know, even with our incredibly inefficient way of shooting at an enemy, and Rotten Baby, Rotten Baby's helped out a lot, and it looks so darn cute holding that key. But, um, even with this, like, incredibly poor loadout that we've got going on here, IV bag tiny or IV bag uh, bloody lust is carrying us, man. So don't forget to use this Yara rune. I make that mistake from time to time. Let's do it. There's the Yara rune, and uh, maybe good. Maybe good. I'm not gonna do it. This run's already zany enough. I'll take this just because I don't even understand what'll happen here. Um, not good. This seems like a recipe for suicide. Uh, don't hate me, okay? We're gonna take this. I'm not gonna take Ipecac. I think if I take it, I'm totally fucked. Let's just check this room out a little bit here. I figure our damage is pretty good. 99 uh, cents plus magic fingers is probably going to give us the win here. But I'll admit, you know, the D100 being there and, and Ipecac being there, it, it gives me pause, but these shots... Oh, I didn't mean to even do this room. These shots would just be exploding like crazy. And I took fucking Tiny Planet Ringworm Anti-Gravity, so don't even start with me, Buster Brown. About not taking zany shit on this run. I've taken the zaniest shit. Did I say I'm the most absurd there is? So if you're barking up the wrong tree, we come and don't be starting nothing. Me and my partner are going to test your chest, Loveless. You can't stand the heat. Get out the wild, wild west. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's also really good. Perthrow. 
Wheel of Fortune. Maybe use the Strength card on the boss fight as well. Um, Wheel of Fortune, blow it up. All day long, you'll have good luck. Why not? It makes our flies better. Don't answer that why not question. Nod leaf is what you're going to give me in this situation. You can gnaw on my leaf as far as I'm concerned. That means I'm unhappy with you. Uh, I guess we'll come back here and get the strength card. Let's just do this. Like, we're, we're done. It's time. Mega Satan. I think we're totally set here. Presumably with Nod Leaf, I can mostly just, like, stand still. I have no idea, like, what's going on. If, if my shots at, at this point could even hit Mega Satan. I really don't want to drop, uh... The ringworm, though, because it's it's just stupid. It's so hilarious that I feel like if I dropped it, I'd be I'd be giving up the soul of the run, you know. Let's use this to take care of the uh, the waves that appear. That'll make our life a little easier. Only 15 cents per wave is a pretty damn good price, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, we're gonna be too strong to beat on this run, which is really really reassuring. Again, I will tolerate no shit. You know what? Hurt me a little bit. Thank you. Did we get the wafer, like the cancer effect or something? Why? Are we... Maybe it's just a really good luck with um with life steal because we appear to be like really not losing HP. All right. Let's not get too cocky yet, though. But our damage bonus is getting up there. Our flies are going to be helpful. Yo, that was like really bad damage. I'm assuming that uh, Magic Fingers gets better the more damage I take. I would like that. Oh, it's Magnet. Yes. Yes! Alright, load up a bunch of shots right here. This is an absurd Samson run, but I'm very thankful for it. Alright, let's go to town. It worked! Oh my god, it worked in like two seconds. Well, thanks for watching. We're going back to an Eden run next for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.